Tea Family, it's Doll Baby 4400. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, beautiful Tuesday morning. Wanted to come at you guys with Sasha. I wanted to give a review, an updated review on her. I've already reviewed her and I decided that in reviewing them, I should come back in a week after I wore them for a whole week and tell you what they do. Because even when we review them, we need to come back to say if they held up, how good they are, and if they're worth the money. Quiet, Chloe. She playing with herself and make it sound like she's rustling a dog or something. But anyway, guys, let me get back. I'll be going off. But anyway, she is such a lovely unit. It's been about mm, in between 92 and the high 80s here within the last week and it has not been unbearable wearing her and I've been wearing her for about a week now and on and off and she has been very comfortable because it's not it looks like a lot of hair but it's really not a whole bunch of hair it's like not just enough for me anyway and I'm in menopause so I'm sweating all the time so it wasn't like super unbearable and as you can see, let me get my paddle brush. As you can see, guys, it really, really held up. And as I said, the cat construction of this wig is very small. And I have a big head. So right here, guys, where my hair is sticking out, I have to take edge control to hold it down, guys. And my grays are very, you know, how grays are very resistant. So that was the only Ugh, I hate about the cat. The cat needs to be made a little bit bigger for us big-headed girls. So, other than that, I did not have to curl the hair or anything like that. I mean, the curls really held up. Let me show you. They're still bouncing back after a week. And um, me, I don't have a whole lot of heads. I have like maybe 10 or 15 wig heads. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I have a lot of wigs, a lot of exotic hair and synthetic hair. So I had to put this back in its original container um, that it came in. So the wigs, the hair is still twirling and it's not on a wig head. So see what I'm saying? This, this is a really good wig for the hair to still be moving in place like that. So Sasha is is everything she's really everything I was really impressed yeah really impressed with Sasha so let me turn around show you how she looks see the only thing is that I notice is the ends they do get a little caught up and a little tangled but that's with usually all synthetic wigs at the end they get like that So for a whole week, like I said, and for her to hold up like that, baby, for the little bit of money I paid for Sasha, she is a winner. So when I take her off, I just put it back in the original packaging and put it back on my head. And the only thing that I'm going to do with Sasha, guys, because I don't like the light rooting, is I'm going to alter the root, the um, rooting of the hair, and I'm going to put black on the rooting of the hair. To make it look a little more natural because I don't like the light rooting. So guys, thanks for watching. And yes, I give her a 10, guys. Go out and buy her a whole week of her. And a curl still lasting. I did not have to put a curling iron in it. I did not have to put a, a, a curler in it or anything. She's still going strong. I would give her an A. Not the plus because the ends are tangling. But that's with all synthetic wigs. So I would definitely give her an A+. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a lovely day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.